the diagram how I am going to assemble this uh, cylindrical shaped lead acid battery homemade. Friends, we shall see what is the current it is able to generate. Okay, it is even touching 2 amps, 2 amps, 2.1 volt. This small battery, really good. Okay. You want to see the sound also I can show it today we'll see how to make the smallest lead acid battery using a straw a fruit juice straw you able to see I cut it like this this is the main straw I cut it like this and at the bottom I have used a sponge to seal it so this becomes small cylindrical, cylindrical container it is okay so this will be my grids just the solder wire which is more of lead less of tin so ordinary grades these are suitable so like this spring shape, shape will do it like spring shape this will be our grids so one I will make it as negative and positive you able to see this will be my negative with more carbon lead oxide pasted already it is dried thus I am showing you what all the steps required this will be our positive able to see it is been pasted like this take a paste like this we are do it ok so this is pasted and dried so this will be our second step now you can see the soaking process this is the dried electrodes both negative and positive we call as green electrodes this I am soaking in the 10 percent sulfuric acid in this 10 percent sulfuric acid this we have to keep not less than 45 minutes one hour will be best because this will give you strength as well as it will convert into lead sulfate this will be the best process for our efficiency in later on for the batteries uh, this is the soaking process minimum 45 minutes you can go for one hour best using 10 percent sulfuric acid this is 5 minutes I will stop it then I will take out those electrodes and slowly give a wrap over each other so that it will not touch and then I will supply outside DC volt 4 volt to the same tub I will supply but here the electrode now will be 20 percent sulfuric acid instead of 10 I will remove and replace with 20% sulfuric acid I will assemble and show you able to see ok so they are now safe they don't touch each other that is, that is what is required now we will supply external DC volt now I have connected the positive with the positive electrode the negative wire with the negative now we will start the supply of DC volt from outside able to see this is our DC which I have so I am using it 0.5 amps so I am supplying it this I have to do for one hour so that the supply of DC go for discharge 10 minutes with a any motor whatever you have light whatever it is you can discharge it for 10 minutes again you have to charge it same process one hour then discharge if you repeat this three times it will be still better then you can go for final charging and assembly of the battery in it's I'm able to see profuse bubbles are coming out able to see friends profuse bubbles are evolving out so this is indication of end point so when there is profuse bubbles coming freely it shows it has completed farming I have to stop it and see it what will be the volt ok I am stopping the ok 1.98 now itself it has reached so another 5 minutes now it will attain 2 I will stop it I will go for discharge then I will again farm 
okay so discharge first discharge after farming is going on you able to see the motor running fine able to hear it really good just a first farming for not even not more than 10 minutes okay then this is discharge then i'll stop charge process going on after first formation able to hear the sound so good it is then after this first discharge you go for again farming second farming 5 to 10 minutes then again discharge for 5 minutes then i'll transfer this 20% sulfuric acid replace with 35% sulfuric acid go for charging 5 to 10 minutes then i'll take out those electrodes wrap in a good this is called ceramic fiber pad it is so this i'll wrap it and carefully insert into this small thing container this is straw after inserting i'll assemble and i'll show you the final lead acid smallest battery okay finally i am giving charging for 5 minutes using not 35% sulfuric acid i am using only 30% because this is very smallest battery so i don't want to put more uh, very concentrated sulfuric acid so i am using only 25% sulfuric acid here for 5 minutes i am charging without any pressure i will slowly insert this then whatever possible electrolytes i'll i'll just fill it required volume then i'll place above that another wool then a small lid to protect from any overflow of the acids okay this is the negative electrode able to see black color okay this i'll slowly wrap that's all that's all i'll cut down and place into that similarly i'll do for positive wrap with this and insert it both the things you will insert and fill with 25% or 30% sulfuric acid finally i inserted carefully those two electrodes into this and using injection i have filled the electrolyte here for this neatness i am going to just put a cap so after inserting the upper lid i am carefully applying this the now the battery is ready now the battery is ready we'll see what is the output this is more of lead less of tin pasted with the lead oxide negative and this is positive then after soaking forming charging i have carefully inserted into this so this become a full cell and we'll see what is the volt and current it is able to generate just a straw okay this is a straw i have taken cut it and made it like this even smaller straw we can use it this was quite small so it is more risky for me that is why i made it this one due to practice you can also do it you can still do better this is what i was able to achieve i'll show you the volt okay 2.1 amazing i am happy this small battery is able to give 2.1 volt i want to see what is the current it is able to generate bo 1.9 okay it is even touching 2 amps 2 amps 2.1 volt this small battery really good kindly you have to click the like button you have to pass your comments please subscribe this is the smallest battery i have ever made so kindly subscribe click your like button pass your comments this is the smallest lead acid battery cylindrical shape using straw cut straw i am used it using straw smallest lead acid battery